What's up guys, it's JHB Gaming here, and welcome to the fourth episode of the Pokemon White series. I hope you all have been enjoying this series as this has been one of the more fun series that I've done on my channel. And now let's get into the, the, the video. So to start things off, we will be buying some Great Balls just because we have a little bit of money now and especially especially are going to be looking to catch some more Pokemon as we just broaden our scope as we no longer are just seeing Patch Rats and Lily Pups. So we are now on Route 3, and honestly this is one of the better routes I feel like in the game, as there is just so much for you to do on this route. And one of the first things that happens on Route 3 is you're introduced to a double battle. I know this doesn't seem like a big deal for most, but especially if you haven't played a Pokemon game before, normally it is just a 1v1 battle. But this route introduces you to the 2v2 battle, which I personally prefer more than just a 1v1. So this was a big moment for me whenever I was first playing this game. I saw this, I was a little confused, but then it immediately became an obsession, and now it's my preferred type of battle. So in that battle, we were able to get Lillipup up to a level 12. With Lillipup leveling up, we will be getting rid of Odor Sleuth in favor of Helping Hand, just so that in these double battles, we can have even more of an advantage. So now, before we were trying to he further progress in Route 3, Charon has come up to us and told us to stop, which likely means we're going to have a Pokemon battle. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, this Charon is very easy to defeat early on, but once things get a little bit later and he's, his Pokemon start evolving, it does get a little bit more difficult. But we were able to easily win this battle, as I feel like this is very good, as if this battle was a tough battle for us, we would definitely have to stop and do some serious thinking. So after our battle with Charon, Bianca comes up to us with this little girl, who is saying that some, certain people have stolen their little girl's Pokemon. And to no surprise, it was Team Plasma, and we were able to defeat one of their grunts very easily. But we were not done facing their grunts, because that meant that me and Charon teamed up in a double battle to face two of their grunts. And honestly, this is one of my favorite moments in the entire series, as I feel like despite the fact that me and Charon are technically rivals, we're still the good guys and we're still fighting Team Plasma. So we are still on the same side, and I feel like Pokemon should definitely implement this more in future games of you being able to team up with your fellow allies in battle. Now we were able to win that game because we are obviously two very good trainers. So while we were exploring the cave where we chased Team Plasma into, we were able to get TM46 Thief. And as a reward for returning the little girl's Pokemon, she has awarded us with Heal Balls. Especially since we only have 5 Pokemon right now, this could be a very useful tool for us. That way we can easily catch a Pokemon, and with the Heal Balls, it restores everything from the Pokemon up to its maximum health. So we could easily just catch and start training right away. So in a battle while we were training, Tepig grew to level 17. And for those of you who know Pokemon, you know what's about to happen. Since Tepig has hit level 17, this means that he will now evolve. And Tepig evolves into a Pig Knight, which means we now have our first evolved Pokemon in Pig Knight. And honestly, I'm so excited to use him. So with Tepig evolving into a Pig Knight, he now becomes a Fire Fighting type instead of just a plain Fire type. Honestly, this is a good thing and a bad thing, as this does open him up to more weaknesses. But it does allow us to have somewhat more of an advantage in some cases. Honestly, it, it truly just depends how you look at it. And with him being a fighting type, he now learns his first fighting type move in Arm Thrust. And I will be getting rid of Tail Whip for that, just because Tail Whip does no damage. And again, I am not really the cerebral type player in Pokemon. So as you can see here, this grass that we're in is not the normal green you can see up on the top left. This is blue grass, which this signals the double, double battle grass. It basically means you have a chance of having a double battle. This is something I think that was new in Pokemon at this point. But I feel like definitely after this it was a staple as I feel like this is one of the better things that Pokemon has added throughout their games in the entire series. So the Pokemon that we were able to catch in that double battle grass was a level 11 P-Dove who knows Gust, Growl, Leaguer, and Quick Attack. And for those of you who don't know, P-Dove is essentially the 
Pidgey of the Pokemon world in this region. It's not the greatest of Pokemon, but it is the first flying type you'll see. And if if it's leveled up properly and knows the right moves, it can be extremely dangerous. While we were training, Pignite was also able to grow to a level 18, as all the stats are increasing very well. Lilypup also grew to a level 13, as again, its attack went up, which is very good, because that is one thing I feel like this Lilypup is lacking a little bit. Lilypup also grew to a level 14. And P-Dove, while we were training, was able to level up for the very first time to be a level 12. We also were able to get P-Dove up to level 13, as again, with the right training, with the right moves, P-Dove can be one of the better Pokemon out there. Patrat, we were also training, and we were able to get him up to a level 11. And with Patrat becoming a level 11, it means that he can learn Detect. I will be getting rid of Leer, because... I feel like Detect is definitely a very good move, especially at this point, if we can just hold off for a turn, maybe just because of the status effect or just really anything that we just need a little bit more time for, this is a perfect way to buy some time. We were also able to get Muna to increase a, a level, as Muna is now a level 9, however it did not gain any attack, which is, is going to be one of the growing trends for Munas, is they don't really increase an attack, which is why I don't really know if I'm still 100% on keeping the Muna around. So we now have a ride in Nasserine City, which is the next city along our journey. And you can see they do have a gym, there is a Pokemon Center, there is a museum and a cafe warehouse. I won't be going to the cafe warehouse, but you, in the next episode you will see something very interesting with the museum. So looking at our Pokemon at, as we make this checkpoint into the next city, Pignite is a currently a level 18 who knows Tackle, Arm Thrust, Ember, and Flame Charge. I feel like he is right on track, as we can only have Pokemon up to level 20, so I probably won't be training him that much. Our second best Pokemon is Lilypup at a level 14, and they know Leer, Tackle, Helping Hand, and Bite. Again, I feel like Lilypup is a very good supporting Pokemon, not necessarily an alpha dog of sorts, but I do feel like Lilypup is doing well for us and we will most likely be training this Lily Pup. The next Pokemon we have is Patrat and it knows Tackle, Detect, Bite, and Bide. Again, Patrat is one of those Pokemon where sometimes it's an amazing Pokemon just because of, of the way the stats work out and sometimes it's not always the greatest. But I do not know what this Patrat is going to end up being like. But I do think I will keep him around for the long haul. Our next Pokemon is our level 13 P-Dove, which we caught at level 11, and we were able to train him up two levels in just a short amount of time. And it knows Gust, Growl, Leaguer, and Quick Attack. It didn't learn any new moves, but I don't feel like it necessarily needs to, as it does know Quick Attack and Gust, which is really all we need from it right now. Our next Pokemon is the Pansage, that knows Scratch, Cut, Lick, and Mind Whip. I don't think I'm going to be keeping this Pansage around much longer, just because of the other Pokemon that I'll be able to catch soon in the game will again be similar to Pansage and I can get them at a higher level knowing a little bit more moves. And our final Pokemon is our level 9 Muna that knows Psywave, Defense Girl, Lucky Chant, and Yawn. I feel like at this point I don't really think I will keep the Muna around unless something magically change, changes my mind. I just feel like it's too weak and it just doesn't really fit this t the style of battle that I have personally. So I hope you all enjoyed watching this episode. If you want to check out the other episodes, go ahead and look at my channel. And I do have at least six or seven more episodes already made, already going to be coming out after this one. So make sure you stay tuned by either subscribing or just checking back on the channel periodically if you want to see more of this content. And it's JTB Gaming, signing off.